Today, we will be examining the Dell PowerEdge T430 to determine why we consider it the best budget tower server for a home lab. It is the smallest tower server offered by Dell that can support two CPUs with up to 140 watts per CPU. Additionally, it boasts ample memory dims, hot plug hard drives, and hot plug power supplies. The T430 is much quieter than its counterpart, the Dell T630. On the front panel, there is an LCD display that shows the current system status and allows for eDRAC configuration. There is also a USB 2.0 port and a USB 3.0 port for connectivity. The front of the server features three large drive bays, with one occupied by a DVD drive and the other two are empty. This particular system comes with eight 3.5-inch hard drive backplane but can also be configured with a 16 2.5-inch hard drive backplane. Let's now take a look at the back of the system. Located in the top right corner of the tower server are two hot plug power supplies. Each one is rated at 495 watts. We added a dual port 1 gigabit network card per our customer request. The tower server features a generous number of PCIe ports, allowing for the addition of various other cards as needed. On the back panel, users will find five USB 2.0 ports, an iDRAC port, and a single USB 3.0 port for convenient connectivity. Furthermore, the motherboard includes dual 1 gigabit ports, a serial port, and an SVGA port for additional functionality. Keeping the system cool and quiet is a large fan located on the back panel, which efficiently dissipates heat. To further enhance cooling performance, heat sinks can be upgraded to the Dell T630 model, known for their solid aluminum construction and superior cooling capabilities compared to the standard T430 heat sinks. Now, with the cover removed, we can observe a substantial air baffle designed to maintain optimal temperatures for the hard drives, CPU, and memory components. Among the various PCI ports, one is currently in use by a network card, while another houses the Dell Perk H303 RAID card. The remaining three PCIe ports remain unoccupied. Positioned on the top, there's a backplane specifically for dual hot plug power supplies. Let's proceed by removing the air baffle. We've removed the air baffle, revealing the full motherboard of the Dell T430. This server model supports two CPUs with a maximum TDP of 140 watts. For our configuration, we've installed two E5-2690 version 4 CPUs, which offer an excellent balance of performance with 14 cores running at 2.6 GHz and a relatively low cost. The first CPU is equipped with eight memory DIMMs, while the second CPU has four memory DIMMs, this is plenty for us, as we will be using 32 gigabyte memory modules. As you examine the motherboard, you'll notice a single large fan positioned at the back. This fan efficiently cools the hard drives, CPUs, and memory components. Interestingly, it operates most of the time at very low RPM. We've installed the heat sinks, and as you can see, Dell T630 heat sinks fit well in a Dell T430. These heat sinks are designed for CPUs with higher wattage, which might seem like overkill for this system. However, they will significantly improve heat dissipation, resulting in quieter operation. Additionally, we've installed two 32 gigabyte memory modules per CPU, totaling 128 gigabytes of memory. We intentionally left plenty of empty memory DIMMs for future upgrades. It's worth noting that using fewer memory modules generates less heat allowing the fan to operate at lower RPMs for longer periods. Furthermore, this system features an add-on iDRAC module, which required an iDRAC enterprise key for installation, done per the client's request. We followed our regular update procedure, first updating the iDRAC with the lifecycle controller, and then updating the BIOS through the Windows operating system. Finally, we updated the rest of the firmware using the lifecycle controller and Dell website. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions or if you'd like us to build a custom system for you. I'm